What is going on my Super Sandwiches? Ramstar here and today I'm bringing some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle and today I'm going to do what I tried to do yesterday and that is to show off the beauty, the awesomeness of the new Intelligence Demigod Super Saiyan God, uh, or Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta. I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, with a better way to show it off than to fight himself. This is going to be the Potafu arc all over again, except for hopefully not as bad because I was not a big fan of that arc. If you guys like that arc, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but I just didn't like it. It was just so annoying and it just would not end. Alright. So what we're doing today is, is instead of running a hero team, I am running an all um, intelligence team. If we can get a Buhan to pop up, because everywhere right now is oh there's one. We we'll use this one. I'm not even gonna spend time looking for them because they just aren't as uh, frequent as they used to be. This is the team we're going with. We have make sure everything's recording. We got uh, obviously double Buhan. I got blue uh, for stunning. Got Janimba. I always run with Janimba. I wanted to try this Piccolo. I have not tried him out yet since I got him from the last tournament. Of course, I got father and son. Only reason why I bought Trunks, honestly, is because I wanted to go with his dad. And of course, like I said, I got double Buon. So let's go ahead and jump in and see if I can show off what this card is like on an intelligence team. Here we go. Let's see what happens. It's funny, like literally, <laughs> uh, when I wanted to show him off in yesterday's video, freaking Blue Vegito decided that he wanted to steal the show and just basically do all the damage. And he ended up basically knocking out Vegeta every single round that he could. So let's go ahead and get a six up here. Get some key there. All right, give it to freaking Buhan. Uh, we'll do a three and a two, and that should give us some more key. Give some key to freaking Vegeta. Like I want to show up a super attack the most. That's, what, that's not what I want, man. Oh, give, give give Vegeta all the key. Come on. Ah, uh, freaking Buhan. Actually, I don't even mind that because Buhan is going to be feeding us health the entire time we're fighting. There we go. Double key. I'll take that. Um, Buhan's gonna be giving us key the entire time we're fighting, so that's all it's important. Also, in the comment section below, I want you guys to comment whether or not you guys pulled this card or other cool SSRs you pulled. On top of that, let me know um, what your ideal mono team is if you're running intelligence uh, for the type. So comment it down below. All right, here we go. And of course, if you haven't followed the videos, so make sure you leave a like right below. 9001 is the goal, like always. So hit that, great. If not, well, we try. All right. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna move you over here because I want you to actually attack for once. We'll give all those to Piccolo, not that it matters. Piccolo is just a block. I didn't have it maxed out. Give, there we go. Now we can get some freaking key action here for once and get Vegeta to do something as opposed to yesterday where it was literally just blue Vegeta doing all the freaking work. Uh, this card is not meant to do damage. It's going to, yeah, 41,000. It's there to tank it. Actually, I forgot to show off his defense. I will show it off next time he pops around in two turns. Look at this. This is the sole reason why I wanted this card. I mean, it does a nice amount of damage too, but mostly because the animation is awesome. In fact, in the comment section below, up until this point, what is your favorite super attack animation in the game? Comment that down below. All right, let's see what we got. So I got blue. Uh, blue doesn't really matter at this point, honestly. Let's just move you over. Let's actually have him do something. There we go. Blue is not going to link with anybody because his links aren't that great. I think I don't really know. I never really use blue. Um, one reason why I decided even to throw him on the team in the first place is because, oh shoot, I want to keep him actually. One reason why I threw my team is just because he's a great stunner. I think he has a 70% chance to stun, which is decent. And um, with the team that I'm running right now, I figured, uh, why not try it out? All right. Did we get anything? We did not. I don't know if he stuns with his passive. I think he only stuns with his super attack. Pretty sure he does. I, if you want to correct me, feel free to do so down below. I, I forgot what his specifics are. That's it. That's the disadvantage of every time you play with uh, the Japanese version. You always forget small key things like that. All right. 25,000. This man... Has 25,000 uh, defense right now. That's disgusting. Let's give uh, all the purples to to you, and then Vegeta, of course, is going to get another super attack off, which is probably going to kill him at the end. Let's let's see him tank. Look at that, 1800 tank and everything. He's basically a Janimba at this point. Uh, Janimba obviously does the guard, but because of his defense is so high, he is going to tank a lot of damage. The other beautiful part is he's not even fully awakened yet. When he comes in his LR mode, he is an absolute tank. And hopefully in the next two tournaments, because I need, I think I need about two tournaments worth of medals, I'll be able to wake him with this LR mode, and I might actually start using him on a mono team. Well, I will use him on a mono team if it ever gets to that point. All right. Let's see. This is going to be a really easy round for us. So what we'll do is, is we'll have Janima tank that. I'll put you in the end, because honestly, I don't need you right now. Um, we'll have Janima tank that. Uh, give all the blues to you, I guess. And you know what? Why not? Do something. Participate here. Let's see if we can get a stun with our boy General Blue over here. It's funny, when I pulled this General Blue card, I made fun of it. I was like, oh, I don't want him, I wanted someone else. And uh, after really thinking about it, you know, I was like, you know what, it's not that bad of a choice just because of the fact that he could stun so well. I think he's the best stunner in the game. I might be wrong on that, but 70% is a good chance. Let's see if we can get it. Go ahead, stab him. 
He also has a pretty cool animation. Freezes him and then stabs. Did we get him? Did we get the stun? We did get the stun. I mean, 70% chance. Pretty good chance. Really good chance, actually. Let's move you over here. We'll grab that. Uh, uh, trunks. I guess you can do your attack if you want. And then, uh, freaking Piccolo. You're just there for participation points at this point. Because I don't need you this round. This round, I got this. I got this. There we go. 657,000, man. This is Walla Buhan. He's still my favorite card to this day. To this day, he is still my favorite card just because I love the fact that he heals and just a disgusting amount of damage. All right. Uh, let's see what we can do this round. So he's not stunned, obviously, anymore. But uh, he's attacking twice back there. Let's actually move you over here. We'll do that. Not that I need health at this point, just because I'm already full health. We'll have Janima in the back to block those double hits. Hopefully, he won't super me the first turn. If he's going to super me, I hope he does it at the end. Let's see what happens. Come on, don't super me this first turn. Do not super me. Great! We did it! Awesome! Success! And of course, we got the beatdown. I will never get tired of this beatdown. Unless I'm playing like the tournament, in which case it might be kind of annoying seeing it over and over again. But at least it's a pretty fast attack. The one thing I don't, I don't like about Rose, as well as Merge Zamasu, is the fact that their attacks are so slow when they do a super. So slow. But this is a uh, uh, beautiful. It's nice. Alright, so he's attacking twice right there. Let us do... Let's just do... You know what? This might be risky, but screw it. Let's try it out. Let's do this. Then we'll give all the blues to you so we can get a little bit of health back. And then we'll do a super attack with you. Let's see if we can get another stun. Let's see if we can get another stun. Great. No supers. Awesome. As long as he doesn't super me, I'm fine. I am chilling. Come on. Do your thing, bruh. Do your thing, bruh. There you go. Did we get it? Did we get it? Come on. I can't, I can't find out until I'm done with the attack. All right. We got the spirit sword. The spirit bomb sword. Slice. I, I guess I'll just pay attention to whether or not he attacks me. And he is stunned. Awesome. For his next two turns. This is why blue is awesome. He's a great card. Don't sleep on blue. I, I did that before. I slept on blue. But now I regret it. Uh, Alright. Uh, we're going to do this now. Let's go ahead and do Vegeta again. Do his super attack. Let's swap you out back there. Let's get some health back with my boy Blue. And this is a good team, by the way. This is a really good team as well. Let's do this. And let's see what happens in this turn. Again, this is a much better job showing off how, how awesome this card actually is. Outside of animation as well, it does a pretty decent amount of damage. The only thing that I don't like about it, and this is a first world problem, is the fact that a super attack is a uh, one. Now, D free, of course, D free being D free, D free, D free. He has a super attack ten, and his does a lot more damage, and that's obviously kind of goals right there. You want to get that high, uh, but in my case, I'm kind of I'm kind of shafted there. All right, what we're we gonna do. Let's do I guess this. He's gonna die this turn, so it doesn't really matter. We'll give all the greens to you. And if for some reason he survives, I guess you can participate too and do a super attack. Here we go. Alright. I still have hope that one day Hit is going to get a Dokkan Awakening. I believe, man. And when that happens, he's going to be actually useful. I believe. All he needs is like one good link. Give the man one good link and he'll be an awesome card. And we're down to the next round. Alright, let's see what happens next. Got uh, the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta on deck. Let's see what we can do in this next turn. Alright, um... So far, I haven't used any items, so that's always the plus here of running a mono in team is you never have to worry about items, at least uh, for now. What are, we uh, what are we doing in terms of defense? We are still pretty good, okay. Um, I guess what I'll do is, let's do this. We'll attack with you. I want them linked together. I'll have, yeah, I'll have you do it because I'm already kind of full on health. And, ooh, can we get a Dokkan attack actually? Let's see if we can get a Dokkan attack. We can! Let's test this out. Let's see how well does this man does with a Dokkan attack next. Alright, here we go. Let's get all seven numbers first. Watch me mess everything up. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what's funny? Is every time I do this off camera, I always mess up. But with the extra pressure added to being on camera, you would think that you would mess up mostly when you're on camera. But that never happens to me. It's always off camera when I always like miss two or three every single time. Alright, Vegeta. Let's see if you can get the fake Vegeta. Let's see how much damage you're going to do. 262. I I I'll take it. 262k is always nice. Alright, now I gotta make sure he doesn't super me, because if he supers me, I might die. It's very much possible I could die this turn. And I hope that doesn't actually happen. Alright, let's see what happens. I think he's attacking me just one more time after this. In which case, I should be fine. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, now we're chilling. Now we're chilling, because now what we can do is we can actually put... Let's put you right there. Uh, well, I guess since you're attacking once, we can just do this. We'll do one of these. So we can get a, a quick debuff from you. Get a little bit of health back from you. And Piccolo, you're participating at this point. 
I'm not even gonna give you a super attack. Let's just do let's just do this. Alright, let's see if we can complete this without using any items at all. It 35, okay, that's nice. Let's get a quick little defense drop. This is why I'll always use Janima too, is outside of being a great blocker, he's great for reducing defense with his super attacks. And with the proper team, you can always pull off the super attacks. 278k, nice. Alright, so far no super attacks from him. But I might be Oh no, wow, no super attacks. Okay, I'm surprised. Okay. See, this is where I might actually die. And I'm going to put a lot of faith in, in blue at this point. Should I do this? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Here's what we'll do. We'll do that. And then Trunks can get a full-on, full-on attack. Let's see what happens here. So, no super yet. If he supers me, I will die this turn. Because I can't take all the damage from all the attacks he's doing this turn. But, if I actually pull a stun off right now, I'm going to be fine. And we got the stun. Look at that. This is why I'm telling you, man. Blue is where it's at. And I can't believe I made fun of when I first got him. I was actually legit disappointed when I pulled blue back in the day. And now I'm actually happy. <laughs> it's funny how stuff uh, like spins around and does a complete opposite like weeks later. All right. Let's put you in the front. Well, I guess there's two, so it doesn't really matter. We'll do all that for you. All this for you. And then uh, this for you. And I think this is going to be the end of the match. This could be very well the end of the match. With the assistance from blue doing most of the work. It's funny. Vegito stole the show yesterday. Today, technically, Blue steals the show. But at least I was able to show off Vegeta. At least this time I was able to show off Vegeta's abilities as, uh, you know, an ass kicker on an in team. And that's kind of the goal for today. And we got the KO. Look at that. All right. So that's going to be the end of today's video. So in the comment section below, look, I wasn't even maxed out. Like, half my team is still, like, under low 100 or whatever. But, um, comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on the new Intelligence Vegeta. Is he worth it or not? Uh, I'm still kind of in between, only because, like I said, I run a villain team. On an Intelligence team, he's great. Uh, but he's also not the star of an Intelligence team, I'll say that. Because, I mean, as you saw, freaking Blue did all the work at that point. Uh, but overall, let me know your thoughts. And if you have fun today, make sure you leave a like right below. 9001 is the goal. And that's going to be my last video showcasing Vegeta, unless I do another race. But at least, at least I got the job done today. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today. My name is Rhymestyle, and I will see all you awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.